this video I'm going to show you how to use adaptive contours. So we'll go to Vario Guide, Vario Guide Main Menu, Field Settings, plus in a way line, go down to Adaptive Contour, and hit our check mark. In order for Adaptive Contour to work, we have to have our triggers set properly for our implement because our second, third, fourth, and so on passes are going to be determined based on our coverage. So in this case I have a uh, simple disc behind my tractor and I'm using my yellow negative valve to drop that disc into the ground. So I need to make sure my triggers are set right. If you need additional help with how to set triggers, please see my other videos as we go into those in detail. So now that we have adaptive contours uh, determined, we'll go to our full screen mode. Then we'll go over here to our add mode. And you can see here that we have a pause symbol already occurring here. So we don't have to set any A points. We don't have to uh, do anything like that. All we have to do is start to drive and get our coverage mapping enabled. So I'll go ahead and get some ground speed here. I'll go ahead and hit my yellow negative valve to set my disc in the ground. Now you see I have coverage. So I'll drive from one end of the field to the other. I won't drive a straight line. I'll, I'll do some kind of a contour here. Okay, now we're at the end of the field, so I'm going to lift my disc out of the ground. Now what we do is we'll do our U-turn to head back the other direction. As I do that, now you can see some way, a way line up here. So now I can go ahead and I can hit engage my auto steer. Now the tractor is going to guide me beside that last pass. So now again for it to work on the next pass, I have to drop my disc in the ground to get it to paint. back up again. 